This edition of Computer Club Lesson was recorded on December the 12th, 2016. Today we're going to do questions and answers. Hello, welcome to Computer Club Lesson. This episode is brought to you by the Binary Guys. Okay, folk, it is the appointed time, 1 o'clock, and time again to start. Now, I want to uh, cover a couple of, quick, quickly, a couple of topics this morning, or, or I should say this afternoon, because we're going to do uh, Q&A afterwards. But uh, one of the first things I want to talk about right now is because it's so close to the season, and uh, you're going to start, if you have not already started, getting uh, spam emails from shipping companies like DHL and UPS and all of that um, saying that your parcel has arrived click here don't do that don't click here if you've ordered something from the internet and it's being shipped via UPS um, FedEx DHL whoever they do not send you um, any communications about your package as it's moving. They send you, or the, the, the seller will send you, a UPS tracking number or a, or a FedEx tracking number. You enter that into the website and that's where you'll get the information on the tracking of your item. They never send you an email directly about your item in the system. So if you get one of those, it's a trick to get you to click on something um, and nasty things can happen. So that's number one. Buying stuff online for those special people in your life for Christmas, I recommend it. Well, that's funny coming from me, isn't it? Um, first off, you're going to go to websites and web places that are legit. You're going to go to Amazon. You're going to go to Etsy. If you want to buy from local stores, you can buy from Sears online. Or any, lo any big box store is online here in town. Okay? Um, you are not going to go to eBay <laughs> or Craigslist, especially Craigslist, <laughs> um, even if they have exactly what you're looking for. Please don't go there. Keep looking around in the big box stores online. You will find what you're looking for, especially um, from Amazon. Among other things, you're going to get a nice bargain from Amazon for as you know you can buy the same item for you know anywhere from 20 to 50 percent off depends on what day of the week it is and who wants to get rid of their inventory so I can recommend online shopping I can recommend it for gadgetry if you're going to buy your loved ones gadgets sure get them from Amazon get them from Best Buy buy them online you can have them delivered to the store and pick up just walk in the store say I'm here gimme and it's paid for you walk out the store with your item um, it is perfectly safe to uh, allow your credit card information to go out to these entities Amazon Etsy, big box stores, stuff stores you've heard of, stores you can trust. If you trust them to walk into, you can trust them to log into. Okay? Um, 
the other part of this is that if you have not um, made a purchase from Amazon or Etsy or any other online uh, purveyor of items and you get you get emails from them saying your item is about to ship please click here don't do that because if you didn't buy it somebody is trying to trick you now I'm just quickly going to uh, go into my spam here and see if I can find something that um, will show you um, and I don't see anything here it's unfortunate I don't have anything wireless security cameras okay Let's see what they're trying to tell me price drop for turnkey home security systems with a link in the page if you hover over the link it down in the lower left it will show you the web address that this this link here this underlined text will take you to I'm not going to click on that I know better but it it doesn't when I read it it does not seem like it's from something that I have heard of or understand if it was um, from amazon.com or amazon.ca if, if that was uh, part of their if that was um, the basic web address I might click on it but this has got all kinds of stuff going on here that I don't understand and if I don't understand it you won't understand it don't touch it okay it can do things so that's basically quickly email scams and shopping online over the holiday I can recommend it just be a little bit careful Uh, for, for the most part, um, if you can do an investigation of the seller on eBay, if they've been on eBay for a long time and they've sold thousands of items and they have thousands of reviews and maybe only two or three of them have gone bad out of those thousands of reviews, okay. But for the most part, if you can't do that kind of investigation of a seller, if you're not if you're not sure how to do it, don't go there. Because um, there, especially now, there are plenty of folks that get onto eBay with something to offer you, and all they're offering you is a way to empty your wallet. Or goods that are shoddy or second rate or whatever. It might look good in the picture, but it's not the goods that they're going to ship. Or some very weird and crazy things. Yeah. Like a ghost in a jar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can buy those on eBay. Yeah. Or a rock in a pocket. <laughs> Remember years ago, the pet rock? Yeah. It's back. Yeah, you can buy a pocket now, with a rock in it. And now, you can plug it into your computer and it does nothing. It's, <laughs> it's even better. <laughs> yeah, it's even better. <laughs> Okay, so eBay, if you, if you understand how to check out the sellers on eBay, okay, Craigslist, do not go there. Even if you're in Craigslist locally, okay, when I say that, um, hamilton.craigslist.ca, okay, um, Lord knows who you're going to find on there, okay, um, so just stay away from them. All right, uh, any questions about shopping for the holidays? Yeah, what are you going to shop for me? <laughs> <laughs> it will be a while. Rock in the leather pouch. <laughs> yeah. And a rock I've found in <laughs> a leather pouch. <coughs> okay, if we're uh, well versed in... Uh, and shopping for the holidays, uh, we'll do Q&A 
for today. And so do we have any questions about stuff that we've covered over the last while? If not, what's your question? My question is, on my computer, up comes a pop-up sign that use Edge, it's better for you than Chrome. Okay, that is coming in from um, Microsoft, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I never get that. I don't know why you're getting it, but I never I get it. I've had it a couple of times. Yeah. yeah and if you say no and you keep using Chrome, does it, it keeps coming back and nagging you? I, I haven't changed anything. It's yeah. only been there two or three times. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know what to do about it. <coughs> um, you said that it protects the computer better than Chrome. For well, when, when we say protection of the computer, what we're really talking about is the technology of sandbox. Now, the Chrome browser is sandboxed to a degree. In other words, if something does get at the browser, uh, it has a very hard time getting out of the browser, but it can. Um, so if it wants to download in the background and um, go into the, the temp file for the browser, there's a temporary folder for all browsers, if, and it wants to go in there, it can sit there and it can launch from the temp browser, or the temp folder. Any program can launch from any kind of folder, but it can launch from that temp folder. Um, Google Chrome is pretty good about keeping your computer safe from that kind of thing. Um, they tout Edge as just a little bit better uh, of being uh, a sandboxed browser. What I'm going to do over the next month or so and when we get back here in the new year, uh, I will have made a thorough investigation of sandbox IE. Um, I recommended that a number of years ago for, for Windows 7 and for all kinds of Windows. Um, but uh, when Windows 10 came out a lot of times Sandbox IE wouldn't work, but that's been a while now. So I'm going to investigate it again and um, see if we can get uh, Sandbox IE on all your computers uh, to, to give you that protection of a fully sandboxed browser, a sandboxed computer. It's really, it's a, it's a, um, it's a sandboxed account, in other words, something come to, coming into that account can't get out and infect the rest of the computer. So I'm going to look into that over the uh, over the holiday break and uh, hopefully when we come back I'll have some good news about that and we can get you set up with that. Um, any other questions? Questions? Yes ma'am? When I turn my computer on that little blue circle that runs around and around and around until it's ready it's taking longer and longer before I can use it. Does that mean stuff's coming in that I'd rather not have? That could be the case. There's a lot of stuff running in the background or trying to start up in the background. Um, and over time, uh, how long was it I, I get your computer back to you? Uh, oh, no, I you're, yeah. Six or seven months now. Yeah. Okay, that's the brand new one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, over time, um, stuff will get in there from from your surfing around. Um, what you want to do is uh, go to the little Cortana circle here, um, down here in the lower left. Okay, and um, is Control Panel on your desktop? Can you remember? Or is it, it should be. It should be Control Panel. All that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, you want to get into control panel and uh, go to programs and features. You can do this. Go to programs and features and look for anything in there that you don't understand what it is or where it came from. That's why I don't touch it. Well, if it's in there and you don't understand what it is or where it came from, okay, and it's a program, um, if it has to do with your computer, you're, you've got a Lenovo now? Yeah. Okay. If it has to do with Lenovo, it's going to be in the list. Don't touch it. If it has to do with Adobe or Apple, 
Um, it, it should be in the list. Don't touch it. You don't have to. But if you run into things um, that have to do with drivers, okay, uh, driver update and stuff like that, you can um, you can delete those items. And the thing to do is just to click on the item, and you'll see that the uninstall <coughs> appeared. Click on uninstall, and um, it will uninstall that item. The other place to look for stuff, the other place to look for stuff um, coming into your computer that you don't know what it is, but it's turned up, is down here in the lower right. Okay? You know that you want to have a, the speaker. You know that you want to have an internet connection. It's right there. You, you want to know if you've got a laptop that your battery is charging or it's hooked up. Um, it gives you some information about the video on your, on your computer. And on and on and on it goes. But there will start to be other things in this line. Like this one here, I know what that is. But if that had all, all of a sudden appeared on my computer without my knowledge of being loaded, I'd make that go away right away. But I know what that is, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, and the same thing with, with other things in here. There's things on your, com uh, on your computer that you need to have. Those things like, uh, like your sound system and your internet connection. But there's other things that can show up in here. If they show up in here, that means that they are loading. Okay? They're loading. Can you delete them from there? No, no. You have to go to Control Panel to delete them from programs and features. Um, I can't see anything else in here. I usually try and keep this pretty clean. Any Microsoft stuff you want to keep? No, it's, uh, that's pretty much it for me. Um, but that's why it is slowing down. Stuff is loading in the background that shouldn't be there. It's not like the computer when I'm doing that, it's not really slow. It yeah, takes it takes longer because the, yeah, to, yeah. The, the stuff has to load into memory. And so um, it's sort of half loading to give you the, it's, this is a trick that Microsoft has used for load these last 20 years. What they do is they half load a program. Okay, so if you have Office, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office will half load in the background. So when you click on something, you can count one, two, three, boom, Office comes up. It's a trick. It's a trick. That's not real. That one, two, three was the was the program finishing the load. It wasn't loading completely. It was finishing the load. So it gives you the impression it's working faster than it is. It's a trick. They've been doing it for years. Hover over it, grab it with the left mouse button, and drag it over. Now you can do that with a folder. It doesn't have to be the pictures. Um, it, it is. It's a full folder. Yeah. Okay. Here's, here's a folder right here that I call Photoshop. Okay, Photoshop Portable. Well, it's, it's pictures on your computer. It's pictures with a name. Okay, just hover over it, left click, and drag it. Okay, over to the My Pictures folder or the Pictures folder. Does that move it or just copy it? Uh, that, in this case, it moves it because it's, it's, uh, it's moved it from the location that it was here over there. Uh, uh, you you can... To, to make sure, to make sure, from, from another uh, folder, it might just copy it, okay? So another way to do it is to highlight the folder by clicking on it, then right click, and it will give you the option to cut or copy. Um, so if you copy, it leaves a copy of the folder on the desktop. If you cut, it takes it from here and puts it there. Okay? So you're going to... Uh, so you would say cut, and then when that went away, you would come over here and, and right-click, and then 
com uh, paste should be available to you. Don't paste here. shortcut. Yeah, but you don't want to paste the shortcut, you want to paste the whole thing. Also, the... Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> The, the other thing that Windows likes to do when you move things is when you have a folder or something and you're moving it to another folder, below your mouse is, is move two pictures or copy two pictures. So it tells you if it's either moving it or copying it. Yeah, you can see it right here. Move two pictures. Okay, that, mean, that means it's cutting it from here and pasting it there. Yeah. yeah, copy would just be copying it from here and they would both stay there. Okay, it would there. But once I've copied it even, if that's what I end up doing, can you still, if I delete those down there, do I lose them all? No, no. You, you've made total copy. Okay. But don't delete them until you're absolutely sure that the copy is correct. Okay. Alright? That's why I... I uh, have before said um, I don't like co cut paste uh, for a folder. I like copy paste because I want to make sure that everything got over correctly. And if you do a cut paste and something goes wrong, you're in bad trouble. Okay, so copy paste is the way to go. Then if you want to go back and delete that location, sure, not a problem, but make sure your stuff works. Make sure it works. Okay. Uh, copy. There you go. Uh, it'll be. It. This will be yeah. pro displayed prominently in the lesson at about uh, forty minutes in. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, you should put in time things. This for this. This for here. Like, give, give more work to do. Yeah, okay. That's that's too much work. I want to have this done in a couple of hours at my desk tomorrow. I don't want to be fiddling with it. Okay. Um time stamps. No, we're not doing time stamps. All right. Any more questions? Uh questions about stuff we've covered in the last couple of weeks. No, 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 no. We still got we still got time to kill. Go through your list. I mean, I could talk about stories. <laughs> stories of crap that happened to me. No, you're not going to talk about stories. <laughs> you can always learn from my mistakes. In Windows 10, the recycle bin, if, have you only got two options? Like you either delete the thing that's in it, that's sitting in recycle bin, or and restore. Is that the, or the only two options you have? Yes. Like I, you can't just sit and say, look at something, and then say, yeah, I don't want that, really. I mean, it's, it's a um, little tiny box. I mean, yeah. You know, when you're looking at it, and I have pictures in there that I'm not sure if I should be deleting. <laughs> okay, here is, uh, here's a uh, recycle bin here. Uh, let me see if I can open this picture that's from the recycle bin. No, it no, does. It doesn't give you the option to look at it, only to restore it, and look at it or not. Well, so you can't do that. Um, uh, let me let me just see here. Nope. Let, let me try something. I might know a trick to make it bigger. Let me just see if this works before I open my mouth. There we go. Well, you can you can make it a large icon. <laughs> you can make large icons, and then you can oh, you can look at. Well, okay. So, <laughs> what what you do is originally, yeah, recycle like, bin will be this big, and right. you have to squint to see things. Yeah. So if you go uh, first full screen it, so okay. it's a lot bigger, and you go to view in the tab. Right. You can pick any size of how now, it's not things. going to change it until you click on it. But so you can hover over it to see how it's going to change. To see how it's going to change. So if if you all right, just hover over it again, James. Okay. You see, just by hovering, you can see that picture in extra large. You don't have to click on it and change it. Good. Thank you very much. Now I know how to. <laughs> what the heck? What is all that stuff? <laughs> Yeah, 
I'm just, I'm just gonna. <laughs> no, you're not gonna. I'm just gonna click it. No, you're not gonna. I like making him go into big world. <laughs> And you, you can you can do that with any uh, file explorer. Um, yeah, that's um, any ex any file explorer you can do. Um, here's uh, here's my PowerPoint. Uh, Again, it would be underneath view. Yeah, but. so I can go to view. I can hover over extra large, oh, and it will. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I want to get into in the way of uh, showing some, showing you some tips and tricks that are um, a little bit longish here because we'll probably run out of time on them. Um, I have a question. All right, what's your question? What's everyone's favorite Christmas movie? <laughs> <laughs> Polar Express. <laughs> Mine's Christmas Vacation. Oh, yes, yeah. Good old classic one. I've watched that for 22 years. Christmas. Yeah. Uh, um, Teen Viewer. It, it went on when, you, you know, you went, when I gave you my computer and we put it on. Yeah. Do I need to... Do update things or do I just no. let it sit there? Just let it sit there. Um, the reason I say that is I am using TeamViewer 11. I believe you have TeamViewer 10. Yeah. They are compatible. Oh, good. Okay. If, uh, if somewhere down the road um, TeamViewer 10 quits working in compatibility mode with 11 or 12, okay, yeah, you're going to have to update. Yeah. But I won't know that, and you won't know that, until I have to log into TeamViewer and it says, no, you can't do that, okay, so you have to update. And it will give you an option mm -hmm. to update. All right. You don't lose anything. You don't lose your special numbers. You don't lose your passwords or anything like that. It just updates the program. Yeah. Um, Christmas movies. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you gave me something to talk about. Yeah, you gave me something to talk about. Um, how many here have Netflix? I no? Don't. No, but how do you get that? Like, set that up? Okay. <laughs> Netflix. For, for 30 days. Yeah. Um, Netflix. Um, I don't think I am logged into Netflix in Edge. So let's just have a look here. Where are we? Okay. Netflix. Also, maybe at some point we should talk about the Kofi box. Was it free? No, Netflix is not free. Net Netflix is 10 bucks a month. Oh, I thought it was something. Now, um... For the most up-to-date movies uh, around, and when I say that, um, they have, um, for the Canadian Netflix... Um, We've really got gypped. Yeah. Uh, your, you would have to look and see for something you might want to watch. You, you can go through the list and, and have a look. Um, but... There's Netflix Canada and then there's Netflix USA. Um, you can trick your computer into thinking that it lives in Buffalo. <laughs> or Denver. Or wherever you like. And when you do that, Netflix in Yankee Land will say, oh, okay, I'll let you see our good stuff. But if you don't do that, it'll tell you uh, you're a Canadian, you get the crap. You don't okay. have to fix that though, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> but you got to pay for that as well. Okay, you got to pay for that as well. That's five bucks a month. But it's really worth it because um, this, it's, um, what is, what 
this is called is called geofencing. Okay, um, eh. geography fencing, geofencing. So uh, the fence is the United States. The fence is Canada. The fence is Europe. The fence is Britain. Okay, you can trick your computer into thinking it's in another geofenced location. Um, you have to pay for that another five bucks. So if you're um, if you want to watch European television, you have to uh, you have to trick the computer into thinking it's in Europe. It can be done. Um, you can look into it if you like. Well, isn't another option because Rogers is the place here? Uh, isn't Show Me? No, as a matter of fact, Show Me is going away. Oh really? Yeah, lost huge, huge, huge amounts of money. And they're going to make it go away in another couple of months. Yeah. Um, there is one other um, item that I can show you here. Um, I believe I've, yeah, Cody. This is an application that I have on my computer. And like I said, I can buy it, I can buy this in a box. Well, an Android box and put it yeah. on that box. It's called Android Television. Okay. Um, and um, I can go through this. I don't have any good things. Well, I've got, I've got, this is good. Okay. I, I can watch British television from here. Okay. Um, be one through four, four <laughs> ITV one through four, one plus through four plus, so that's eight channels. Um, there's uh, Do you get it, Sky? From I have looked for Sky and it's available, but it doesn't work well. I mean, it would be great to get Sky because of the sports, right? Um, <laughs> uh, you know, if 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 you're into Premier League football, that's what you want. Which football? With the emphasis the on foot. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So, but uh, people are working on Sky TV, and uh, in the next number of months, it may very well. April. Oh, okay. Good for you. <laughs> so this is a program um, that you can put on your computer and watch TV on your computer. Um, it, you can also get it as a device called Android TV um, and it works pretty well. I have it on three TVs in my house. I cannot sit for two hours and look at that. Or hear no, it. no, it's, I'm saying this is Android TV. You plug it into it your TV. Oh, okay. I, if, I, if I wait three weeks, I can do on demand. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, the other things you can do with uh, uh, laptops and certain uh, desktops is um, plug them, like what we're doing, plugging your laptop into the TV and then you just put it on here and then watch it on your TV and yeah. muting your laptop. So yeah, that so works. Once I get, you know, the internet working right and then I have well, the laptop, like how do you do, how do I start up with Netflix? Uh, you have to go to the Netflix site and you have to ask them for an account. Okay. Uh, when you go to sign in, it'll say uh, sign in or do a new account. Um, but I would, if you can look, if you can browse around Netflix uh, for for a while before you buy it, yeah. I would do that to see if there's anything on there you want to watch. Yeah. No, because, like watch I said, it. the Canadian stuff is crap. Because well, I've seen it at my son's, and I guess what we were watching, you know, it was, it was stuff that I wanted to watch. Yeah. You know? Like sometimes it's a series. On TV. Yeah. I'm not catching it every week, but I would like to sit down and watch it. Uh, Net Netflix uh, has uh, one series that I binge watch every year. And, uh, oh, is that the Stooges? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the name just escapes me for a second, but it's 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 uh, it's it's 
about the president of the United States. His name is Frank Underwood, and he's a really nasty guy. House of Cards. House of Cards, that's it. <laughs> you binge watch it too, right? <laughs> but but when they when they uh, what they do with House of Cards is they give you 13 episodes, and you can view them all in one night. <laughs> That's called binge watching. I love to do that. Oh, that's easy mode binge watching. 24. That's series 24? Yeah. How did you get Chrome on uh, Edge? I, I didn't. Oh, it's, yeah, it, it's something about opening an account and get, they advertise if they can get you home, I guess, or something. Yeah, I, I, used, I used Edge to have a look at Netflix because Edge is not logged into Netflix and Chrome is. No. Okay, so going back to, like you say, Netflix, if I, you know, get an account, and then do I hook the laptop up to the TV or something? You can. Uh, depends on, on what connections you have on your laptop. This is what's called a VGA connection. Um, it just, um, yeah, it just takes the picture from the screen and throws it up on your television. There is another way called HDMI, and on brand new, to, uh, laptops, uh, HDMI is the standard. And so when you hook in through HDMI, it also brings over the sound. All right, so, yeah, you would have to buy a cable of the right type to get over to your, your uh, modern TV with HDMI, or that's the modern format is HDMI. The, the old format is VGA, and, and I have VGA here. So it's, uh, but HDMI brings the sound over. It brings over stereo sound. Anybody else? Well, if not, uh, with the Kodi box as well, you can get um, more programs on it. Um, one called Ex Exodus? Exo yeah, it's, it's, just another, it's just another set of uh, channels that you can watch on Kodi. But I think that one's the best yeah. uh, program because when a new movie comes out, like two days later, it's on there, so you don't have to go pay money for that. Just, mind you, it's on camera. Well, so sometimes I, yes, sometimes no. Yeah, depending. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is pirated stuff. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> this is pirated That's stuff. Har. Yeah. Yeah. Talk stuff. like a pirate day. Har. Um, um, like, they have movies going all the way back to at least 1990. Yeah. Because yeah. I watched Lion King like a couple days ago. Older movies are better than the new movies. Yes. Um, and then, like, TV shows, like, again. When a new episode comes out, pretty much the next day, it will be there. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, that's that's talking about piracy. Um, I I can I will tell you that piracy is available. I will not show you how to do it. Um, I do it myself, but. I'm not going to show you I've how to do it. A, I've seen a pirated DVD, and somebody <laughs> once brought one for the heck of it, and you actually see somebody's holding a camera in a theater, and yeah. you see people getting up to buy popcorn. You see them walking up in front of the film. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. so stupid. I mean, we laughed when we saw it. Yeah. Uh, when, uh, uh, when the last episode of Star Wars came out, uh, for the longest time, it was uh, the best. The best version was somebody that. Uh, that uh, had uh, uh, scan scrammed it on their cell phone. Yeah. Mine was, yeah. It's, it's just a yeah. Now, now not mind you, when the movies... The the movie. <laughs> now, <laughs> oh yeah, sir, <laughs> if you get caught with a cell phone in a movie theater in your pocket, some big guy named Louie will come over and punch you. <laughs> okay? That's it. They don't like that much. Okay, folk, it's, uh, we're, we're all done. Uh, again, I'm, I'm going to mention that uh, July the 9th is when we're back. January the 9th. Where are you going? July the 9th is probably when we'll finish. January the 9th is, is uh, when we'll come back to this. Thank you so don't much. Don't blame him. He's, he's very senile.
That's Computer Club lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.